Welcome back, friends. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I created this Scorpio design with two knockouts. So these areas here are totally transparent. This is the perfect design to place on a t-shirt where you want to be able to see through the fabric. I only have one favor to ask you that if you learn anything in this tutorial, press that like button, press subscribe. And if you want to learn more about Canva, join my YouTube channel membership. All right, so let's get to the good stuff now. All right, so I'm starting off this design with a YouTube thumbnail, and I'm gonna go over to text, place some text on my workspace, and in here, in all caps, I'm going to type Scorpio. I'm gonna change the color of my font to a goldish yellow color. And I'll just toggle the customizer all the way up to the top right there to make it a little bit brighter. I'm gonna grab this and I'm just gonna bring it right up top here. And I'm going to make four copies of this. To grab these and just make them a little bit larger like this and leave it like that. Now if you want to make the text a little bit um, you want more space in between you want to increase the kerning then you can go to spacing and you can toggle the letter spacing. I'm going to leave it the way it is like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going, going to make another copy of one of the words and I'm going to place it right in the middle there. Now I want this word to kind of pop out or to create a knockout effect. But if I come into the color chooser and I change it to white, it's creating that knockout effect, but you can't really tell what that word is. So what we're going to do is we are going to go into effects and using an outline effect, um, and you can see that right now, too, You've, we've got that gray um, on the outer edges. But if I change the color of the background to black, it's not transparent. And what I'm trying to create is kind of like a knockout of the word Scorpio. So um, what we're going to do, and I'll leave the black background there so that you can see what I'm actually doing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this text, go back into effects, I'm going to change that outline to white because I want to create like a, a, a larger knockout area for the text. And I'll just make the, uh, I'll leave the thickness the way it is right there like that. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to download this. It, now it doesn't have to be transparent. I'm going to create a new page. And I'm going to bring that design right in here. I'm going to crop it a little bit. And I'm going to make this a little bit larger so we can see it. Now this design isn't transparent. So I'm going to take an opportunity to change the background just so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. I'm going to grab this design and I'm actually going to remove the background. So now I've got the word Scorpio and I've got this knockout effect right in the middle. I'm going to grab that text from page one and I'm going to bring it into page two. This is the text that I used to create my knockout. So I'm just going to bring it in there and I'm going to grab this text. I'm going to go back into text effects and I'm going to apply a hollow effect instead. And I'm just going to reduce the thickness a little bit like that. And I'm going to change the color of that font to match with the rest of my design. I'm just going to try and fit it in right in there. Now, the second thing that I want to do is I want to create a knockout with a scorpion. So I'm going to come into elements and I'm going to place a scorpion on my workspace. Here is my scorpion. I'm going to flip him like this. And what I want to do is I want to do the same thing I did up here. I want to create 
a um, white area that's going to represent the knockout. So I'm going to change the color of the scorpion to white. And then I'm going to go to uh, edit and I'm going to apply a shadow outline effect. And that outline effect is going to be the color of white. And I'm going to make it thick so that it actually creates a knockout and just gets filled all the way through uh, the element because I don't want to see, I want to see like transparent all the way through the design. So now is an opportunity for you to kind of resize your scorpion. And what we're going to do now is we're actually going to download this design. But before I do, I'm going to change the background back to white. And I'm going to come over to share. I'm going to download this. I only want page two. And it does not have to it, do not make it transparent, just regular. OK, so I'm going to download that while I'm waiting. I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to grab that new design that I just downloaded. And again, I'm going to change the background to black. Again, it is it's not transparent. In order to make it transparent, I need to remove the background. OK, so there it is with the background removed. Now, obviously, if you like the design without the scorpion, you don't need to add the scorpion. I'm just taking this one more step to show you how you can create uh, knockout effects, multiple knockout effects on one design. And now I'm going to go back into elements. I'm going to grab that scorpion. I'm going to flip it and I'm going to change the color of my scorpion to orange. I'm going to move him into place right here. Uh, make him a little bit smaller just so that it fits in to that space uh, real cozy. And if you want, you can also change the thickness of the scorpion by just going into edit, going into shadow, applying an outline effect, and you'll want to choose the same color as your design. Now, I may not have the exact color there. If you want the exact color, you can just go back into text and you can select the right color. I'm also going to reduce the size of that outline because obviously it's too thick now. And I'll leave it like that. So there you have it. Let's change the background back to white. And that's what it would look like if um, you placed it on a white t-shirt. This is totally a transparent design. So I hope that you did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to press that like button, press subscribe. And if you want to learn more about Canva, tips, tricks, and everything there is to know, join my YouTube channel membership. I go live every single week to teach my adult learners what they want to know. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye. Until next time.